Welcome back to the Husky Highlight Show. I'm Lauren Lemieux, sports video producer for The Daily. I'm Taylor Soper, sports multimedia producer for The Daily. And I'm Jacob Thorpe, sports columnist for The Daily. We're here at Heck Edinson Pavilion right after the Huskies 71-69 victory over the UCLA Bruins. And let's get straight to the highlights. At the end of the first half, it was UW 35, UCLA 34. Husky center Aziz Enjime got off to an aggressive start for the Dogs, but picked up two early fouls and headed to the bench for the last 12 minutes of the first. This enabled big man Josh Smith to dominate in the paint. He had 14 points for the Bruins to end the half. UW scoring was a little more evenly distributed. Abdul Gaddy had this and one, and Sean Kemp slammed down this dunk for the Dogs. Moving along to the second half, the UW offense was out of sync, and with six minutes left in the game, the Bruins were up 65-55. But then it was Terrence Ross to the rescue for the Dogs. T. Ross scored 10 of UW's 12 final points. He drained two threes and hit two jumpers to help UW go on a 13-0 run and put away UCLA. Norman Powell missed a jumper at the buzzer, and the Huskies came away with a 71-69 victory over the Bruins. With Cal losing tonight to Arizona at home, the Huskies, as of now, can solely claim the title of first in the Pac-12. And we're back at Heckinson Pavilion after the close two-point win for the Huskies. Who do you think was the main player who brought it home for the Dogs tonight? Yeah, we got to go with Terrence Ross. Only four points in the first half. Another slow first half for Terrence Ross, but... Again, he comes alive in the last six minutes. The Huskies down by 10. They need someone to step up. And the sophomore from Portland really stepped up. He went in his own little zone there. And Coach Romer was talking about that, that glean in his eye. You know, they knew that he was going to catch fire. And that's exactly what he did. And he willed the Huskies a victory. Absolutely. And UCLA had a pretty big player tonight. Um, Jacob, who would you say that was? Well, I'm going to go with a big player in every sense of the word, Lauren. <laughs> Josh Smith. He's got a wide body, but boy, he sure knows how to use it. 24 points, but he really just abused the Huskies down low. I've said it before about Josh, you know, it's like trying to stop the van when it's going downhill. Not only that, when you've got a center like that that's really just so much bigger than everyone else, the fact that he can hit his free throws really hit, hurt the Huskies. He missed a few late on in the game, but early in the game, there's not that a lot they could do to stop him. He was throwing players around in the post when they'd foul him and make his free throws. If he could play a full 30 or so minutes a game, he'd be a real terror in this conference. With six minutes left in the second half, the Huskies were down by 10. They had a total of 16 turnovers this whole game. Did you see them falling apart as a team at all? And when was that point when they came back together? Yeah, for 34 minutes of this game, they, the ball kind of seemed like a hot potato for the Huskies. No one really wanted to take control. They were kind of being lackadaisical out there. But, you know, Abdul Gaddy said about the couple, two TV timeouts and six minutes left, they came together as a team and they said, you know, we need to be a team to win this game. And on offense, I didn't really see that. I saw Terrence Ross kind of take over the game. But on defense, uh, they really did come together and play good team defense. They went in that zone, they stopped Josh Smith on, underneath the basket. And with that press on top of all that, you know, I could really see them becoming a team on defense. And that really helped them uh, win this game tonight. Absolutely. And it was only a two point win, but it was a win nonetheless. Jacob, what does this win mean for the Huskies? The Huskies are looking real good. They might still be able to run away with this conference. They've got, they're 8 and 2 right now and they've put kind of their toughest games behind them. They've still got a few challenges ahead, but they know they can beat every team in this conference now. You know, we dodged a bullet. Like, we're, we're playing for a Pac-12 championship, and we don't want to look back at the summertime and, and be saying, what if, what if we played harder that UCLA game, and what could have happened? We don't know. We have to take care of this every night, and every game is going to get tougher. And the Huskies come away with a 71-69 victory over the Bruins. This Saturday at 8 o'clock, they play USC right here at Heck Edmondson Pavilion. For Jacob and Taylor, I'm Lauren. We'll see you next time on the Husky Highlight Show.